All right, what's up, Paul Squad? Welcome back to my Heartbanger Recap Marathon. So, it's now time for Jai Jutsu time. That's right. I've been waiting for a while to get a chance to do Jai Jutsu recaps. You no, know, it's been a while I did them. So, here we are. So, Heart Squad, we're going to check out his recap by Captain America Civil War, and it's called when Captain America beat the Sox on Crossbones in Civil War. So, of course, Captain America Civil War one of the greatest Super movies of all time. I think it came out about 2015 or 16, around that time I was in high school. I actually saw it in theaters, absolutely loved it. It was so freaking badass, you know, first time seeing Tom Holland's Spider-Man. And of course, Chadwick Boseman, rest in peace, and Black pa as Black Panther. And it was like, man, it was, so it was so freaking great. One of the greatest, greatest superhero movies of all time. And one of my top five, I would say top five favorite MCU movies. So, Hot Squad, we're going to do we're going to check out John Jusu's Captain, Captain America Civil War recap right now. Let's get straight to it. Thank you, Jesus. He who was slow to wrath has great understanding, but he, but he always impulsive as Zex Foley. Proverbs 14, 29. Great quote. So it starts off, and Captain America over here doing parkour maneuvers through this crowd. <laughs> this goofy thing he cooked up too with that little GTA role. Bro really moving like one of them professional tag players. And I know y'all seen him scan the area real quick. Bro was baffled at all these colored folk. He was finna go ghost on the mission and get back to his Al Massa roots. This goofy never beating the racist allegations. He stay cooking the BLM community any chance he gets. I know y'all remember how he was looking at the brothers in the elevator before he reverse jumped their game. Anyways, bro couldn't find the op he was looking for, but out of nowhere, one of them Tony Stark Simtex grenades gets lost at his shield. Got kept looking down at it like, that mug started beeping. So Cap had to hit his best all-pro QB impersonation, launching his shield into the sky. Once that mug blew up, I was thinking to myself, whoever just tossed this nade at Cap might just be a real fader. Because when Steve Rogers has that shield equipped, just know it's gonna be a bang-out session. It pans back, and tell me why Steve over here looking at the sky. Man's looking up like, it's a bird, it's a plane, oh nah. It's a spine buster to your back, boy. Yep. See, that's what he gets for not doing the most common sense thing after throwing his shield up. Don't you think looking for the ninja who threw the bomb at you sounds more feasible? Now he didn't got his spine caved in. Looking like he didn't got put in a Mortal Kombat fatality. Bro got more hang time than Clark Kent. Dude got sent flying straight through the food stand. Got Steve on both elbows gasping for just a smidgen of air. Man's lungs is straight pudding. After that lick, we get introduced to public menace number one, Crossbones. Yep. And dude is not playing with Cap. He starts walking Cap down in this Gen 1 Iron Man suit, not even giving bro the chance to catch his breath. Loading up a CTE hook dead to the side of Cap's head. Got him rolling, folded up like a lawn chair. It switches to my girl Black Widow, and this fried ninja Falcon looking for the op that got away. Out here looking like a temple run cutscene, but Falcon came in on timing, I must say. Bro sent a 100 mile per hour flying knee at this dude jaw. And I ain't gonna lie, this is where the MCU don't make sense sometimes. Cause ain't no way bro head ain't flying off after that knee. Let me rewind it. Look how freaking fast bro is zooming. That lip was so hard, it got man's head hitting the Taco Bell. Doodle Bob number two thought he was John Wick with this default pistol. Got Falcon looking at him like, come on bro. I just drank a Red Bull, and Red Bull gives you wings, my ninja. Sent that boy Spinacus first into the side of the building. These MCU heroes really don't be sparing the low-tier scoundrels in these organizations. But when it comes to the actual evil goofies, they want to imprison them and send them to jail. Like, how that work? Then Falcon tried to run bro pockets. Like, if y'all don't get this man some food stamps or something, because... It pans back to Widow on this temple run chase. And bro, when I tell you she moving, she moving. This gotta be a stunt double. Cause I know Scarlett Johansson not out here hitting both flats in the sand. But she catches up to the op, tackling bro. And right here, I knew it was up for this goofy. Cause whenever Widow can run her ones, it's a certified dub. She disarmed bro, and locked this elbow out. Spamming bro with light attacks. Then caved this Adam's apple in. Now he's sounding like a 60 year old chain smoker. His bro tried to sneak Widow. But he caught a basket to the noggin. And tell me why this basket got him stunned like he got hit by a cod concussion grenade. Like, boy, if you don't get your lane tail on somewhere, she hit bro with that leg sweep. How he folded. But this wouldn't be a Black Widow scuffle if she didn't hit a ninja with one of those Rey Mysterio maneuvers. Wait, what? My girl out here hitting collateral combos. Two for one specials. She bangs these goofies up. 
and grabbed the gun. Now they in a standoff. Got Mr. Mosby over here threatening to drop the serum like he ain't the one to make demands. But Falcons and Dragonfire Street from BO2 came in and blasted bro. And Mrs. Wick, oh yeah, she shot bro dead in his noggin and showed off the wide receiver skills. Somebody get my shorty a contract, will you? It pans back to Cap and Crossbones and it's a bang out. Crossbones tried to stomp the racism out of Cap, but he weaves it and gets to his feet. Now they finna get to throwing straight hands in this mug. Let's go ahead and break this down. Weave, Perry, Perry, Weave, Meek, Meek. Not the goofy out there with crossbones. Got him staring at Cap in disbelief. Headquarters done set this ninja up. Told him if you just get him away from the shield, he's straight cookies. But man's ain't read the fine print in the briefing report. This boy Cap also has the hands rated E for everyone. He swings that haymaker at Cap just for it to get parried, but combos it with one of those headbutts and an uppercut from the depths, sending him flying into this public pantry because Cap is moving like straight monkey food right now. Damn. Boy, what they put in Crossbones Gauntlet? Vibranium CTE grenades? <laughs> but Cap ain't no hoe. He started reading Crossbones like he was Adonis Creed. Sending straight body shots to bro. But Crossbones is out here using everything. <laughs> yes, Cap, everything. everything. Cause he hit Cap with an overhead and pressed him firmly against the wall like a school bully. Call that boy Buford and listen to what this fool says here. This is for dropping a building on my face. I know this ain't who I think it is. Yep. Hmm. I'm on to you, Crossbones. Mm -hmm. But we gonna continue. Bro, my guy pulls out this Assassin Creed blade. <laughs> had Cap in awe. Bro done brought the shank to a fist fight. Man's tried to turn Cap into a shish kebab, but got his elbow folded like some origami. Got him squealing. Then hit bro with an elbow and ripped off dude's gauntlet. He threw that mug down at the dirt and I knew it was up for crossbones. Cap was fairly squabbling with you, then you just had to bring out the melee weapon. Crossbones swings that other butter knife, got Cap hitting the lean back. Man's out here playing limbo. But his combo bag is small, cause now he's just spamming. So Cap caught his arm and broke it in three places like a fortune cookie. But this ain't the fortune he wants, cause Cap sent a roundhouse kick dead to his jaw. Now Crossbones flying back singing R. Kelly lyrics. I'm over here just shaking my head, bro. Cause if Cap walking you down like this, you might as well say goodbye. Yeah. This fool stays running everywhere, so he acting out of body right now. Crossbones takes off his helmet, so Cap can look him in the eyes. But the look Steve just gave got me confused. It pans back to Crossbones' face and ugh, brother, ugh, what is that? Man's face is looking like when you tighten your lips up like this. And is that Brock Rumlow? I knew it when he said he got a building dropped on him. It was kind of suspect. Hey, roll the clip. Man's over here scuffling with Falcon. And out of nowhere, the SHIELD headquarters dropped dead on bro knocking. They must have pulled bro out in pieces and started slapping kneecap skin on his face to save him. But bro started dissing Cap and his set and dissed one of his old homies Bucky right before he tried to pull out one of the most grimiest tactics in any fight. Mans couldn't take the L so he tried to take Cap with him. Detonating this kamikaze bomb but right before Cap was finna get turned into straight barbecue, Scarlet Witch came in to save the day. Well, not really because yeah. she lifted bro up just oh to God. let him blow up oh, a whole oh. upper story building. God she damn. probably just greased over like 30 something workers. Look at her. Dang. She shook. Nah, yeah, you should have threw him straight in the sky. <laughs> now you I out mean, here wow. greasing innocent civilians. Somebody sent old girl to the firing range. She <laughs> moving like a recruit bot with that aim. But moral of the story is, Cap ain't no hoe. With or without the shield. He banging. Yep. That's the end though. At least until Cap reunites with his long lost homie to bang out on Tony Stark. <laughs> but until then, I'ma need y'all to bow them heads. Dear Lord Jesus, I know it might sound repetitive. But we want to say thank you. Even with a million tongues, we couldn't thank you enough for all the things you do for us on a daily basis. Your children gather here in your name, giving you all the praise. Because you are worthy, you are merciful, and you are wonderful. So thank you, Lord. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, Amen. Jutsu Mafia. Hidden Technique. Peace. Great prayer, Jajusu. Great prayer. And also, another W recap. Banger, banger recap, Jajusu, man. Oh, by the way, I'm recording this in the morning. Cause um I didn't get I was gonna do all the recaps yesterday, but I got tired and had a bunch to do. And also I watched Inside Out 2 and IMAX, so I wanna go 
do that instead. So yeah, uh, great recap. W recap, Jajutsu. Keep up the great work with these, man. I can't wait for your recap between Cap and Bucky versus Iron Man. It's it's, it's gonna be a gonna be a banger. I know this. I damn sure know who it is. So Hot Squad. That is my conclusion and my reaction to Jajutsu's recap of Captain America Civil War Part One. I got a feeling it's gonna be part two for sure. But yes, Hot Squad, if you enjoyed this, please hit up on the comments and share your thoughts. How many times you watched Captain America Civil War? Have you seen it when it first came out? How old was you when it when it first came out? So yeah. W recap, Jajutsu, W recap. So Hot Squad, I have one more Jajutsu recap I want to get through today, and this is Godzilla X Kong to do Empire recap. So Hot Squad, please stay tuned for that. <laughs>